Wake up, Mr. Gelardi. Uh, 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 what? Huh? Who said that? Oh. Oh. Hang on, I was trying to... I was trying to get some shut-eye here. Oh, wolf, what time is it? Shoot. What the fuck time is it? Oh, dang. I think I was supposed to be streaming right now. Oh, shoot. Is it too... Is it too late? Maybe I should just cancel the whole damn thing. I mean, I'd, I'd, I could just go right back to sleep. Why not? I could just go, go right back and keep on sleeping. You know what? You know what? I am awake now. I don't think I could fall back asleep if I wanted to. I think you managed to put the spark of life in me. I'm here. I'm awake. I might as well just keep going. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to Relax with Max. This is the show. This is the show that we all do together. It's not just me. You guys play an important role in it as well, as you can tell. Let me turn down this audio a little bit. It's all of us. We all do it as a group. Max, say something funny. Um, bananas? Bananas is pretty funny. Guys, what do you think's funnier, bananas or cheese? Maybe both of them. Maybe both of them put together. Maybe like a banana dipped in cheese sauce. That could be like the funniest thing. <laughs> or not. How's everyone doing? It's Monday. It's one of our iconic Monday streams. These are often the best streams, I think. <sighs> you know what I found out today? Markiplier, you know that guy Markiplier? Guess what? He makes... 38 million dollars a year. Can you believe that? And I heard that, and I thought... Markiplier, my close personal friend! We know each other so well! You guys know how close personal friends we are, me and Markiplier. We basically love each other. We're basically brothers. Thank you to, uh, Bokuto for the $10. You didn't attach a message to it, but that's alright, you know. You didn't need to. You and I, Bokuto, we have an unspoken bond. It's like we don't even don't even need words. And I'm gonna make that same joke whenever somebody sends a super chat with no message. But yes, me and Markiplier are basically brothers. Markiplier, you and me, we're like brothers, only closer. And then I lift my shirt, and we're <laughs> we're attached to the stomach. Boom, 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 boom. It's throbbing. That's me and Mark. Mark, remember like 10 years ago when you did a voice in one of my cartoons? Yeah. Remember that? That's why we're so close. He probably doesn't even <laughs> He probably doesn't even remember who I am anymore. Markiplier, you should give me some money though. You should send some of that money my way. Markiplier, if you give me if you give me, oh, I don't know, 20 million. Markiplier, if you give me 20 million dollars, I will give you the best Sonic the Hedgehog movie that could ever possibly exist. I could do it easily for 20 million. I could do it, you know, I could do it for 15 million. Not that the, not that the bar for Sonic movies is part particularly high, but I could do it. Man, I wish I made that kind of money. I want 38 million dollars a year, for me, for myself. Max is already begging for money. It's not begging when we're close personal friends. I am close personal friends with him. We're like brothers, only closer. And then I lift my shirt and we're connected with the, with the veiny throbbing thing. That's me and him. That's me and him. You know what, though, in all seriousness? 
suck all of the humor out of the room. Uh, we're living in a world where some people do need to make 38 million dollars a year. Uh, and I am glad that Markiplier is one of those people. Better Markiplier than some, you know, scumbag. Because Markiplier actually, you know, really seems like a nice, sweet man. I thought he made 87 min million? Well, if he's making 87 million, then he definitely should give me 20 million to make a Sonic movie. <laughs> but 38 million, that's nothing to sneeze at either. That's so much money. Max, can I get a dark humor joke? Um, you guys know I'm too relaxed for that. I'm far too relaxed for that. I would never, I would never taint my lips with an off-color joke. It would never, ever, 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 ever happen. What would Markiplier think of me if I did something so unbecoming? I have to make Markiplier my best friend! Guys, listen, guys, listen. Here's the plan. Guys, listen, here's the plan. Markiplier makes 38 million dollars a year. And he probably likes giving money away to his friends, to his close personal friends. So, if somebody could find a way to become friends with Markiplier, that person would find themselves in a very, very, very advantageous position. <laughs> and he was already uh, Apollo in that one cartoon, that one Animal Crossing cartoon. He did a voice in my cartoon, so it's like we're already friends. We just need to become close personal friends. That's what we need. <sighs> Friendship will solve all the problems in the world. I know it will. I truly know that I can feel it in my heart. That the secret to life is friendship. Before this, I always just hated everyone and everything. But no, I see now. I get it now. The answer was friendship. All along. Between me and Mark O. Plyer. His full name is Marcus O. Plyer. And he's uh, Irish. It's an Irish name, O. Plyer. You guys get it. You guys get it. Who else thinks his voice changed the fuck up? Do you mean me or do you mean Markiplier? I don't know. I don't. I haven't noticed him changing his voice. My voice has stayed the same. I still have the beautiful man voice that I've always had. I think me and Mark could be great friends. I think it could happen. One of these Markiplier days. Markiplier milk. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> no, we're not drinking Markiplier milk. I don't think he's producing. I think his teat is dry. Unfortunately, his teats have run dry. But that's okay. You know, I always really like it when, when somebody who's making a lot of money is also a really nice person. Which I do think Markiplier is a really nice person. He seems like such a sweetheart. Because we're living in a world where a lot of the people who make, you know, millions and millions and millions of dollars a year are also big scumbags, and they're pieces of shit. And they don't care about right and wrong, and they don't care about helping people, and they don't care about making the world a better place. So I think when somebody makes a lot of money, and they're a good person, instead of looking upon them and feeling jealousy, feeling envy, which I think, I think jealousy and envy might be different ideas, but I'm not sure exactly how they're different. Instead of feeling those ugly feelings, we should feel happy for someone when they're a good person and they make a lot of money. He deserves it. We all, all good people deserve to make a lot of money. I almost said we all deserve to make a lot of money, a lot of money, but some people aren't good people. And those people don't deserve to make a lot of money. Unfortunately, we do have to get into it. Unfortunately. I know how much you guys hate getting into it. Max, is your bald head squishy? Uh, it could be a little squishy. Thanks to the, the $2 super chat from Mouse, who just said, I'm gay. Alright. 
so be it. Mouse, thank you for keeping us abreast of that. It was very important that we that we knew that there was such a thing as a gay mouse. Mice can be gay. Well, now I have a whole new reason to not like them. <laughs> hey, Max, long time, big fan. Have you ever considered con continuing the Jerry, Jackie, and Junior stories? Nope. What do you have to say about those stories? They're old. I don't know. They, I, I, I have no idea if they stood the test of time or not. The last thing I'm doing is continuing something that's old. I'm gonna open my kind bar so that I can eat it later. Let's say our prayer to relax us. Everybody, please bow your heads and clasp your hands. You don't have to close your eyes, but if you feel it helps, go for it. Dear Relaxus, please help to relax us. Help us to sit back, unwind, unstress, decompress, breathe easy, hang loose, cool off, loosen up, and simmer down. Please bless us with mellow moods and chill vibes as we hang out, shoot the shit, and just straight kick it. Give us the strength to ignore politics, drama, and the tragedies of our modern world, and grant us the serenity to forgive those on social media who post things that make us triggered, upset, and emotionally compromised. And as always, help me to wish harmony to those who wish harm on me. And also, relax us. help Markiplier to realize what a good friend I could be to him, and how great our relationship could be, if only he would give me a chance. Relax us, I please ask you to... <laughs> I please ask you to soften Markiplier's heart so that he learns to give me a chance. In the name of Relax us, we pray. Amen. Max, are you aware a lot of female fans want you to do... NSFW stuff. You know what? It's a good thing that you sent this super chat while Relaxus is up so that it could be skipped because it's lascivious. And I've told you guys, you shouldn't be, first of all, first of all, you shouldn't be sending super chats when Relaxus is up. It says right at the bottom of the screen, super chats are off. And second of all, I said no more lascivious super chats. This is a wholesome stream that I do for you guys. Let's finish off our prayer by doing some square breathing. This is when you inhale and outhale at similar intervals. And yes, I know I just said outhale. We're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. And we're going to do a count of eight. If you can't breathe through your nose, using your mouth is fine too. Starting off in through the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, and out through the mouth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once more, in through the nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And out through the mouth. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Don't you guys all feel much better? If any of you make thirty-eight million dollars a year, don't you feel as if you want to be friends with me? Whoever is texting me, could you please stop? Because I'm I'm trying to stream right now. I'm trying to talk to my millionaire friends. I know at least a few of, a few of you must be millionaires. I know it. I know it. God, don't you want to be friends with me so bad? Hmm. Wouldn't that be so fun to be friends with Max? Max is like the best possible friend that you can have. Friends don't get much better than Max. <laughs> what if it's Markiplier? If Markiplier is texting me, I guess I, I guess I should respond. I don't know how likely that is. That, so, but I, you know, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not gonna give credence to that theory. But listen, you know what? Here's what I need to do. 
I need to start a stream for millionaires only. And then I'll know everyone who's watching is a millionaire. That's what I need to do. He said out through the mouth, ha ha. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you just said. Um, he said out through the mouth? What's funny about out through the mouth? That's how you do your square breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. I mean, you don't have to do it that way. I just find it's useful to do it that way. Do you guys think Markiplier remembers me? Do you think he remembers doing a voice in one of my cartoons? God, he's so dreamy. In such good shape. Ooh. So big and strong and muscular. Makes so much money. Ooh. One of these days. One of these days he'll come around. <laughs> We'll win him over yet, you guys. We'll win his ass over. He is very big and muscular, though. He's incredibly muscular. I wish I had a body like his. I need to get I need to get into working out really hardcore this year. This year, I'm if I can anyway. If nothing gets in my way, I don't know. My feet have been bothering me lately. If nothing gets in my way, I want to do lifting Monday through Friday, and also jogging Monday through Friday. Uh, and then on Saturday and Sunday, I'll jog, but I won't lift. I'm also going to do my wall angels every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Which I've been slacking on, and I need those for my bad neck. Oh, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna really try this year. We'll see how it goes. No, come on, bro. You're perfect. <laughs> no, I'm not. I am literally the most imperfect person who has ever existed. I am one big walking imperfection. And now, to turn my head and look upon my desktop where I'm sure there will be no AI Max, Sonics you know waiting Meat for me. Canyon. He does cartoon too. Yes, I've, I'm familiar with Meat Canyon. And oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh, fart. Five AI-generated Sonic the Hedgehogs mysteriously dumped on my desktop by an unseen force. You know, one of these days, one of these days, guys, one of these days, one of these days, we're gonna find the scoundrel who keeps putting these AI Sonics here. I don't know who it is. I'm not blaming anyone right off the bat. I'm not saying it's one of you guys. But one of these days, one of these days, one of these days, we're gonna find that son of a bitch! We're gonna bring him to justice! But until then, <laughs> Zora, what if it was me? Zora, if it's you... Sending good and relaxing vibes to everyone tonight. May your feet be filled with nothing but good thoughts and good art. Love your stuff, Max. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. You guys are too kind to me. Zora, if it was you... Does a devil with a shotgun going to 7th heaven mean anything to you? A devil with a shotgun going to seventh heaven. Not I that I crazy frog ding 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 ding. You guys, are you guys gonna be a little sassy today? Are you guys gonna be spoiled brats today? Is that what I'm gonna deal with today? Markiplier is putting them there. Well, you know, if he was, then that would at least mean that he remembers me. We do have to categorize these Sonics, though. I can't just leave them here. And I wouldn't want to just delete them, because then they would all be in the recycling bin, all mixed together, and that wouldn't seem right. I feel like each of these Sonics needs to go in a very specific place. Either a cool place, a weird place, a cute place, or an illegal place. Depending on what kind of Sonics they are. So let's categorize these and get it over with. First Sonic of the day. We have Sonic with a, uh, a fiery Feminina Sonic. Who is this? Give me back the AI Sonic's sad face. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this character is a she because of the very, the very feminine form. Although the face, the face isn't all that feminine. The face just kind of looks like Sonic. 
<laughs> Even though she has a blue mushroom on her cheek? Just a little blue mushroom. And uh, a Toucan Sam haircut. I wonder if this is like Sonic's wife or something. Does Sonic have a wife? He's also, he's got like a, <laughs> like an orange attached to his, to his hand, attached to his knuckles. All right, I spend all my allowance this week. I'm happy I can support you this way. You are my role model. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. However, I do have to push back. Thank you to Just Dank for joining the goofball tier. We love having you here. I do have to push back. I should not, should not be your role model. I really shouldn't. Come look at the way that I live and tell me that you want me as your role model. You'll take one look at the way I live and be like, oof, I gotta get the fuck out of here. Thank you for the super chat, though. I'm a bad role model, you guys. I am not to be emulated. So this is Sonic with his new wife. Um, I, I think maybe this wife fits a little better than Amy Rose. Maybe even a little better than Princess Sally. But they're not, like, they're not embracing. They're just, like, they're doing the, uh, they're, what's that thing called? Dapping? They're dapping up. They're saying, hey, dap me up. Sonic says, hey, dap me up. And then they, <laughs> they do the dap. I love the colors in this image. Um... I like the Femsonics, the Femsonics little booty here. Their shoes are cool. This fruit here looks delicious. I'm gonna say this is a cool Sonic. I'm feeling a lot of coolness from this image. Hey Max, it's my bedtime, but I have trouble sleeping. Oh, I'm sorry. Will you tell me a bedtime story and can I get a goodnight kiss? Uh, once upon a time, there was a man named Markiplier and he had a lot of friends, but he still felt as if there was Max. something missing. <laughs> Long time watcher. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to tell you that this whole last month and a half while I was sick with both mono and strep, I watched you every day. Oh, mono. Your streams helped me sleep, so thanks a lot. Mono, the kissing disease. What have you been doing, young man? Have you been doing something lascivious? I get to use my favorite word again, lascivious. Hey Max, first time that I've tuned into a live stream, but hey, I love what's your up? stuff. Currently recovering from surgery, but at least Oof. I get to miss classes. Smiley face. You guys have so many health problems. <laughs> it's okay, my feet have been killing me lately too. So there's there's at least one thing that's been acting up. My neck has been acting up, but I I, I just need to get back into doing my wall angels. Your Sonic saying, you mad? And flipping the double bird. Which is, you know, that's a little vulgar. Well, I guess it depends on what kind of culture you're in. Because what I've heard about the double bird, or or even just the single bird, is that in some places it's like super, super is vulgar. Windows 11 worth it? it? Windows 11? I don't know what, I don't care about the operating system that I use. I'm not the person to ask. Uh, I've heard there are other places where, uh, it, 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 like, giving the finger is just, like, a little mischievous. Like, it's kind of a little rude, but it's not that vulgar. And there's even official media where Sonic gives the finger. I think he gives the finger in the, uh, in the Sonic Ova. So this is kind of on brand for him. Otherwise, I might say this should be an illegal Sonic. Um... But honestly, I think he's just being in character. You know, Sonic can be a little mischievous sometimes. I think that's what we like about him. So we're gonna say this is another... <laughs> you mad? You mad about my double birds? That's another cool Sonic. Three more to go. Here we have Sonic, uh... doing a Metal Gear crossover. This is Metal Gear in the corner down here. This looks like Solid Snake, sort of. Solid Snake with spikier hair. It's so weird to think that in that first Metal Gear Solid game, Snake was completely clean-shaven. 
but eventually, <laughs> eventually they started giving him a beard just because, for whatever Mandela effect reason, we all remember him having a beard in that game when he didn't. And sometimes I think he has a mullet too. Like he's got a little bit of a mullet here. Play a game called Overkill next stream. Thanks. Overkill? Well, I've been meaning to play Ultra Kill. Overkill, I don't know if I've heard of that. Let me... I have to roll up my pants. I'm hot. Hang on, you guys. There we go. So is this Sonic in a Metal Gear game, or is it Solid Snake in a Sonic game? And which of those two options would be more fun? Finish the Markiplier story. Finish the Markiplier's. Oh, that's right, I was telling a story. Uh, once upon a time, there was a man named Markiplier, and he had a lot of friends- Max, can you do a goofball expression when he is mad at you? <laughs> what would Let he say me to finish! You? He had a lot of friends, and he made a lot of money, and he was completely fulfilled in every way- PP. I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna ignore you guys and keep going. <laughs> he was completely fulfilled in every way, except he felt as if there was something missing. He didn't know what it was at the time, but there was just something gone there. He had a hole in his heart. And what he didn't realize was that hole was shaped... ...like my, <laughs> like my head. He had a max-shaped hole in his heart. And then... ...one day he said, I think I should be friends with Max again. And then he reached out to me, and we became great friends. Um, and both of our lives improved immeasurably because of our friendship. And we have so much in common. You know, he's a Let's Player, I'm a streamer. Basically the same. Only difference is, you know, his videos are pre-recorded, mine are live. But we're both just playing games in front of a microphone. We're so similar, we have so much to talk about. What an amazing friendship that would be between the two of us. I'm gonna say this is a cool Sonic. Next up. <laughs> uh, this is, uh, there is more... It's funny because we started off uh, today's Sonics with Sonic, uh, with some kind of a femme Sonic, like, uh, it looked like it might be his wife or his girlfriend, but they were just holding hands. I feel like this image has more romantic affection than that first image did. <laughs> now, usually, usually I would look at an image with, with Sonic and Luigi and say, oh, this is Sonic being friends. And when Sonic engages in friendship, it's always cute. I think there might be a little more than friendship going on here. This is, uh... Well, I don't know. Maybe... Maybe Luigi is what Sonic has just always been looking for. Maybe they would be the perfect partners. Perfect life partners. Now, I don't know if they can legally marry in the Mushroom Kingdom. I don't know if they've gotten those laws yet. I don't know if, if that injustice has been rectified. And certainly, um, their marriage will not be recognized in the eyes of God, who will view it as an abomination, obviously, for obvious reasons. But imagine feeling a love so passionate that you're even willing to defy the Almighty. Imagine that. That's the most romantic thing I've ever heard, I think. They are just friends? Oh no, they're not. Are we looking at the same image here? <laughs> These are not just friends. These are friends with benefits. Friends with all the benefits, not just a few. Oh, Sonic, I love you so much. This is my boyfriend. Oh, how I love him. He is so blue. He runs so fast. Mario is going to be so jealous. History would say they were friends, but we know that they are gay. Uh, maybe. Maybe, maybe. Who's to say? Who's to say? 
If only they had lived in ancient Greece, then everything would have been fine. Uh, even though I think this is Sonic engaging in more than friendship, I am gonna say it's cute. This is an incredibly cute image. This is like one of the cutest images we've done. And so, in with the cute Sonics it goes. Last Sonic of the day. We have a Statue of Liberty Sonic, a gift from the French. Gotta go fast, written on his, uh, on his little tablet book thing, or whatever that, I don't know what the Statue of Liberty is holding, I have no idea what that is. Imagine, picture this, we get another gift from the French, we get it <laughs> in a bunch of boxes, you know, it's got the assembly instructions on it, like it's Ikea. You have to put it together yourself. They couldn't send the whole thing, you know, already assembled, so they send it in pieces. It comes all the way from France. We put it together. It's a giant statue of Sonic the Hedgehog. That would be the most amazing gift ever, ever, just ever, just ever, period. <laughs> How come countries don't give each other giant fucking gifts anymore? I guess the Statue of Liberty is the only instance I can think of of that ever happening. I don't know if that's something that used to happen normally. And did we ever reciprocate? Did we ever send them anything back? I don't think we did. America might be a selfish lover in that sense. You can give us something, but we you ain't getting <laughs> anything in return. This is Sonic saying, you know, bring me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses. Supposedly there's a big, uh, there's a big immigrant crisis in New York City happening right now. I don't really know a whole lot about it. Other than that, there's a bunch of people coming in and we don't we, we don't really have the means to take care of them all. <sighs> I've never... I've never understood... And this will definitely reveal my ignorance on the situation, but I've never understood why is it that America... seems like the one country that everybody in the world wants to come to so very, very desperately. As a New Yorker, this is what we need as a state, the Sonic of Liberty. <laughs> yeah, you think so? This will fix our divide. Yeah, this could fix the divide in our nation. We could all come together over our love of Sonic. Max, I'm possessed by goofball hell. I'm sorry to hear that. Just relax and the spirit will leave you. Or it should, in time, anyway. It's the land of the free. It is the land of the free. But that really only means that America is a land where people are free to do a lot of different things. It doesn't mean that... It doesn't mean that you get free stuff. And I was watching this interview with this one lady... And it seemed like a lot of people do think that when they come to America, they, they, they will get free stuff. I saw this interview with this one immigrant who was talking about, like... Like, oh, I came here with three children, and now it's awful, we have nothing to do, we have nowhere to go. I was promised when I got here we would have housing, and that was a lie. I was promised, you know, I would have a job, and that was a lie. And I don't know who told her those lies, but my, my first thought was... Why would you believe something so fantastical? I mean, if I, if I got on a boat... We don't have to get too deep into politics, because that's a little antithetical to, a. Uh, to relax with Max, the spirit of relax with Max, because there's nothing less relaxing than politics. Would you ever make goofball plushy? Ah, uh, no, I don't think so. But if I got in a if I got in a boat, and I went to France, just like pick any random country, France, because we're talking about the Statue of Liberty, and I went to France, and I snuck in illegally, and then I went to their government, and I was like, so where's my house? Where's my job? They would just be like, are you fucking nuts? No, you don't get free house, free job. I 
I'll never under- I really don't understand the whole situation. But like I said, I don't know anything about it. It is sad, though. It's sad that people, you know, so many people come here, and then when they get here, it seems like there's nothing for them here, but I don't... I really don't understand why they expect there to be something for them here when there are already people who live here who don't have anything. You know what I mean? Let's, whoever is texting me, please stop. You know, like, I've been living in this country my whole life, and it's never been... Like, I've never thought it's been super, super great, but also... Like, you know, there's no perfect country. Like, where can you go where everything is just a paradise? That's nowhere. Um, they do say it's the land of opportunity, though. Um, America is a third world country wearing a Gucci belt. I guess it would make sense for somebody to want to come to America if they want to work in Hollywood. If they want to be like a famous movie star or something. Because America is the only country that has a Hollywood. I guess there's also Bollywood, but I don't know... I don't know how that's going. I don't know if that's as big as Hollywood is. I'm sure I just said a bunch of stupid stuff, put my foot in my mouth, but... You know what? Sonic doesn't discriminate, discriminate against the tired, the poor, the huddled masses. He doesn't care. But where do I put a Sonic like this? Where do I put this controversial Sonic? Is it cool? Eh, I don't know, I would have a hard time calling it cool. It's definitely not illegal, it's not cute. I think this might just be a weird by default Sonic. I think it has to be weird. And so... America is a weirds. third world country wearing a Gucci belt. I already read that one. I already read that one. What are you, nuts? I'm gonna turn the music down a little bit. And now... We are going to get into today's activity, which is... This game. It's called Infinite Craft. This is a game where you just craft and craft and craft and you don't have to do <laughs> anything else. Which sounds like my worst nightmare, but hopefully, if we try it, something interesting will happen. And after we do this for a while, uh, this is on a website called neil.fun. And this website has a bunch of other different games that we can try if we get bored with this. And if any of you guys have a favorite uh, of these games. Maybe you can suggest it. I want to give it a try. Um, but we start off with water, fire, wind, and earth. And if only we had heart, we could summon Captain Planet. You know what? Maybe that's something we can try. How, it, maybe, maybe, ooh, maybe, maybe if we can craft heart, because supposedly we can craft anything, if we craft heart, and we combine it... Oh, but you can only combine two things at a time, that's right. Hmm. Okay, then <laughs> I guess we can't craft Captain Planet. It's not allowed. Um, fire plus water. Steam. Mm, sort of. Can you make Squidward? Also, this is unrelated, but Skibbity Cheney did not get reborn. It was a mech. It wasn't a new TV Titan, it was the same but upgraded. And Man Skibbity is not dead, it was fake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can I make Squidward? What do you mean, can I make Squidward? I wish Sonic is our new president, it's Jover. Having Sonic as a president would be nice. Earth and Steam makes mud. Uh, yeah, that might work. Mud and wind makes dust? I don't know about that one. Um, let's try mud and fire. Brick. Okay, brick and brick makes house? No, makes wall. Wall and wall makes house. Nope, wall and wall makes wall. Hmm. Wall and fire makes chimney? Volcano. That's not right at all, is it though? Volcano and water. Lava. Also incorrect. Lava and... 
Lava and wind make... I'm gonna guess... Ash? Volcano again. Hmm. Steam, water, fire... Volcano and fire makes ash? Nope, just lava again. Lava and water makes volcanic rock. Nope, just regular stone. Hmm. Stone plus dust? Sand. Ooh. I would say that sand is like kind of halfway between stone and dust. It's stone in dust form. I mean, form. make Squidward in Infinity Craft. Oh, okay. I'll try to figure out a way to do that. Actually, maybe I can start right now. Maybe we start with water? Water plus water. Oh, what happened? What? Whoa, what happened? Did <laughs> I broke it? Lake! Okay, water plus water is lake. Lake plus lake equals ocean? Yes! Ocean... Ocean plus... Ocean plus stone equals bikini bottom? Island, that's close. There is a bikini bottom uh, island kind of adjacent to, to the city, I guess, that we see. Um, island plus wind. Tornado. That doesn't make sense. A tornado plus tornado. Hurricane. Hurricane plus hurricane. Tornado again. Hmm. Um. Tornado plus earth? Dust. Everything just makes dust. Dust in the wind. All we are is dust in the wind. Uh, ocean plus brick. Atlantis. Okay. Plus stone? Poseidon? Plus island? Atlantis again. Back to Atlantis. Thank you, Maniacal Matro, for the uh, 99 cents. Didn't attach a message to it, but that's fine. It's almost like you and I have an unspoken bond. We don't even need words. Hmm. I, I suddenly feel like I'm struck with a terrible lack of imagination here. Mud plus sand, beach. Beach plus fire, bonfire on the beach, sun. I guess the sun is fiery and it's always out at the beach. Um, sand plus tornado. No wait, sand, yeah, no, no, tornado, yeah dust once again <laughs> everything makes dust hmm you guys might have to give me tips on how to be good at this mountain volcano plus volcano equals mountain mountain plus sun volcano um dust plus dust sand Sand plus mud equals beach. Yep. Beach plus lava. Hawaii! I thought it was going to say island. Okay, Hawaii plus brick. <laughs> Lay? That's a flower. Hmm. Actually, one thing I want to try. Sand plus fire equals glass. So somebody in the chat say this. Not a bad idea. Yep, that works. Glass plus wall. House? Nope, window. Window plus wall. House. Yes! Okay. Getting somewhere. House. House on the... House on the beach. How come these two won't combine? Interesting. God, I wish this game had some instructions. House cannot be combined with beach. House combined with lay? Hawaii, okay. 
I got one. You plus me equals happiness. Oh, you wish. Hmm. Poseidon plus beach. Mermaid. Mermaid plus tornado. <laughs> Tsunami. Tsunami. Tsunami plus Hawaii equals surfing. Okay. Surf plus l ocean. Surfer. Can we finally have a human, a humanoid? Um. Surfer plus wall. Surfboard. I guess that makes sense. Let me take out a bunch of these surfers. Okay. Surfer plus... Surfer plus stone. Rock. Nothing there. Surfer plus ocean. Surf, yeah. Surfer plus... Fire? Surfing. Surfer plus earth. Beach. Surfer plus Poseidon? Surfing. Hmm. Um. Let me clean this up. Hit the button to clean it up. Let's do ocean plus... Where's island? I know I came up with island. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Ocean plus island equals Atlantis. I feel like I'm getting nowhere slowly. Hmm. Atlantis plus surfer? Aquaman? <laughs> like THE Aquaman? The superhero that everybody makes fun of? That's always the butt of the joke? Probably. Um, I'm just gonna pick a bunch of random things and see if I can make something new. Rock, mermaid. Okay, rock plus mermaid, siren. Even though they put a little red siren, but even though I don't think that's what they meant by siren. Um, fire plus surfboard. Surfer, Aquaman plus Sun, Superman. Interesting, because Superman gets his powers from the sun. Did you guys know that Superman gets his powers from the Earth's yellow sun? And that Krypton, the planet that he comes from, has a red sun? So if he was on Krypton, he wouldn't have his superpowers? Uh, Volcano plus... Volcano plus Superman. Still Superman. Tornado plus Superman. Super Tornado. <laughs> oh, interesting. That might mean that if I combine things with Superman, I can make them super. So, if I combine Surfer with Superman, will I get Super Surfer? Nope, I'll just get Aquaman. Okay, Superman mixed with mud. Clay. Having a hard time seeing that. Clay mixed with house pottery. Superman mixed with... Superman and Hawaii. Aquaman. Everything is Aquaman. Hmm. Hurricane... Could Superman beat a hurricane? Super storm. Is Superman stronger than a mountain? Volcano. Uh, you know, a volcano kind of is a super mountain, when you think about it. Superman... Superman versus Poseidon. This has to be Aquaman. It has to be. Yep, I knew it. And if, if, if I do Superman plus Aquaman, will I get Justice League? Nope, just Aquaman again. Hmm. Create humans, then sin, then watch it all go to hell. Um, I don't understand how to... intentionally create things. It just seems like I'm putting stuff together...
to make new random things. And I've seen people make really, really crazy stuff, but I don't know how they do it. Wave, that's new. Tornado plus... Tornado plus house equals demolished house? Nope, just tornado still. Tornado plus rock? <laughs> tornado with rocks in it? Meteor, interesting. Meteor plus Superman. Kryptonite. Kryptonite plus Superman. Dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. I mean, I didn't. I didn't mean to kill Superman today. But yeah, that does check out. Story checks out. Kryptonite plus Superman equals dead. <laughs> Um, but now that I have dead, I feel like there's a lot of cool things I can do with dead. Dead plus Aquaman equals dead Aquaman? Aqua dead. Okay. That's not a word I'm familiar with. Um, mermaid? Dead? Dead mermaid? Zombie. Ooh. What else? What, what, what of this do I want to die? Dead surfer. Zombie. Also a zombie. Um, dead Hawaii. Zombie. Dead mud. Fossil. Interesting. Okay. Um, dead water. Swamp. Dead water is a swamp. Okay, let me get a bunch of these deads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, dead plus dead is grave. Um, b -b -b siren plus dead, zombie. Glass plus dead, mirror. Mirror is a dead glass. Interesting. Um. Swamp plus dead. Zombie. Everything is zombie now. Wave plus dead. Tsunami. Fire plus dead. Ash. We finally got ash! That's what I was trying to get earlier. Wind plus dead. Dust. There we go with the dust again. Atlantis plus dead. Just more Atlantis. Aqua dead, which is a word that I'm not familiar with, plus... Sun? Dryad. Is that like a... Is that a tree? Dryad. Define. Or is that like a D&D &D thing? In folklore, in Greek mythology, a nymph inhabiting a forest tree. Especially an oak tree. Okay. So we've made our first fantasy character. Let's kill it. And then we just get a regular tree. Tree plus... Tree plus rock. Stone. Not entirely accurate. Tree plus stone. Rock. Now we're just going in circles. Um, mud plus rock? Clay, clay, clay plus tree, golem. Hey, Max. Hi. Take off your skin. Thanks. I need my skin. It's concealing all of my blood. How would I live without my skin? You want me to do rock and stone? Somebody said rock and stone. I don't even know the difference between a rock and a stone. Aren't they just the same thing? Boulder. Let's drop a boulder on Aquaman. <laughs> and we just get rock. A dead boulder would be grave. Uh, boulder plus Superman? Kryptonite, again. Hmm. 
fossil. That could be interesting. Fossil plus mermaid. This Am game uses Ammonite. AI to make its craft, so yeah, lol, it doesn't make sense sometimes, we. One of these things? Alright. Just made one of these things. Ammonite? A Ammonite? Ammonite. Ammonite plus sun. Fossil. Swamp. Swamp plus mirror. Vampire. That makes no sense. Vampire plus Superman. Where is he? Uh, vampire plus Superman equals super vampire. Batman. Fuck yeah, we finally got Batman. Hell yeah. Batman plus Superman. This must equal Justice League. If I do Superman plus Batman... It must equal Justice League, right? Yes! 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 Oh, fuck yeah! Whoop, hang on, hang on. There we go. Yes! Okay, what do I do with the Justice League? Love the cool ass things you've made for a long time and Thank wanted you. to show my support. Keep it up. Thanks, I love you too. Mark my words, Krabs. One of these days, I will steal the Krabby Patty formula. Oh, you'll never get your hands on me, formula. You won't be getting your hands on me, formula. Uh, dead plus Justice League? Zombie Justice League. Uh, okay. It might just put the word zombie in front of lit literally everything. I don't know what I'm gonna... Can I just get rid of this? There we go. Justice League... Where is Batman? There's so many things that I wish to combine with Batman. Um, Batman plus Zed, plus dead, excuse me, zombie Batman? Nope, just regular zombie. Okay. Batman plus kryptonite. Superman, that doesn't make any sense. Batman plus Hawaii, Batman on Hawaiian vacation? Nope. Uh, what is something we can put up with Batman? Batman plus Boulder? Batmobile? That's not really right. I'm so happy that I... <laughs> I'm so happy that I combined Superman and Batman and got Justice League. That's really funny. Batman plus Vampire. Dracula. Dracula... Dracula plus house. Everyone knows that Dracula can't go in unless he's invited. Oh wait, that's glass. Uh, house. Here we go. What happens if he is forced in? Castle. Oh, because he lives in a castle. Batman plus castle, bat cave. Gotham. Okay. I was close. Gotham plus Vampire probably brings us back to Batman. Yes. Um... Batman plus Mirror? Joker! Because he's the opposite of Batman. Does that mean the mirror makes something that's the opposite of whatever you put in it? Opposite of zombie is... Vampire. Maybe. Opposite of dead is alive? Nope, still vampire. Um. Opposite of rock? Stone. Opposite of mermaid? Narcissus. Who is Narcissus? How, how is it spelled? N-A-R-C-I-S-S-U-S. N-A-R-C-I-S-S-U-S. It's a flower? I feel like it's gotta be a Greek god or something. Yep! In Greek mythology, Narcissus was a hunter from Thespia in Boeotia who was known for his beauty, which was noticed by all regard <laughs> regardless of gender. <laughs> 
So that's just a way of saying that men and women thirsted after him. And I'm guessing this is probably also where we get the term narcissistic. Uh, but there's a little flower there. They gave us a flower instead of giving us the Greek god. Meteor plus Batman. Can Batman beat Meteor? Nope, Superman. Hmm. You guys have anything you want me to try? Uh, don't feel afraid to post it in the chat. Meteor plus... Eugene Harold Krabs, 124, Conk Street, Bikini Bottom, the Pacific Ocean. Are you doxing Mr. Krabs? I, why does Mr. Krabs deserve that? Fire and wind. I must have already tried that. Probably smoke or steam. Yep, smoke. Um... Joker and Batman, that is interesting. We got the Joker now. We can mix him with Batman. Arkham. Arkham plus... Castle? Batman. Castle plus Vampire equals Dracula. Dracula plus Castle equals Vampire. Going around in circles there. Hmm... Oh, Batman plus Siren. Still just Batman. Hawaiian Vampire? No, nope, Dracula. Hmm. <clears throat> Narcissus plus Tree. Okay, we can try that. Wood. Hey, we got wood. All of my favorite games let you get wood. See, I wish I could... I wish I could, uh... Like, draw a square and select multiple of them. Wood plus mirror. Tree. Tree plus stone. Boulder. No, rock. Rock... Rock plus ash. Stone. Stone plus dryad. Statue. Statue plus golem? Colossus. Hmm. <laughs> Batman plus Colossus. Superman. Superman plus Colossus. Gigantor. Gigantor the space sage robot. Interesting. Gigantor plus... Superman. Super Gigantor? Nope, just regular Gigantor. Hmm. Sun plus dead. That is an interesting idea. We're gonna get the sun. Um, where's dead? Sun plus dead. Vampire. Vampire plus grave? Dracula. Dracula plus fossil? Vampire. Colossus plus Sun equals Shadow of the Colossus. Okay. Nope, just statue. Hmm. Fossil plus Mirror? Gonna have to start typing them in. Dinosaur! I do not understand... <laughs> ...what this game's conceptualization of what a mirror is. Dinosaur plus... plus Batman. Just regular Batman. Dinosaur plus Grave equals Fossil, right? Yep. Dinosaur plus Dracula. Dragon. Interesting. Dragon plus Dinosaur. Still Dragon. Dinosaur plus Superman. Super Dinosaur. Super Dino! I was close. Dinosaur plus Kryptonite. No, wait. Dinosaur plus Batman. Still just Batman. Hmm. Why is it doing that? Wood? 
OBS, don't do that. Stop it. You're being bad. You're being naughty, OBS. Wood. Wood plus Batman. Just a bat. Just a regular old bat. Hmm. <laughs> morning plus wood. I mean, if, if I had uh, if I had morning, I would try. But unfortunately, I don't. Hmm. Incoming snowstorm in Massachusetts. Whoopee. Oh boy, I'm glad I don't live there anymore. Sun plus Super Dino? Superman. This would be a lot more fun if literally everything I tried gave me a new result. But I'm getting a lot of the same results over and over again. Um, hmm. Golem plus Dragon. Cannot be mixed. Dragon plus gold. Sometimes it's just like, nope, you can't. Maybe because there's too many things. Clean it up. Golem. Dragon. A golem and a dragon just don't mix? You know what? Meteor plus Earth. That's kind of a good idea. Moon. Maybe because the Earth was struck by a meteor and that's what created the moon. That's how the moon was formed. Moon plus... <laughs> moon plus wood. Werewolf. Ooh, okay. Werewolf plus... Where is Superman? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Werewolf plus Superman. Super wolf. Yes, Super Wolf! And I'm guessing Bat plus Superman would just make Batman instead of making Super Bat. Yeah. Okay. Werewolf plus Vampire equals Twilight? Well, let's find out. Uh, where is Vampire? Nope, Dracula. It all comes back to Dracula. Dragon plus fire. Fire breathing dragon? Nope, regular dragon. Plus wind. Windy dragon? Tornado. Dragon egg. Dragon plus dragon is dragon egg. The dragons be fucking. In this game, the dragons be fucking. Dragon plus dinosaur. Just another dragon. Dragon egg plus... Mirror. Dragon. Now how would you hatch a dragon egg? Would you put it out in the sun? So let's do sun plus dragon egg. I guess it would just hatch into a dragon, so that's not so fun. Water plus dragon. Sea serpent. Yes, correct. Hi, Max. Hello. It's about related concepts to those being combined, not what the concepts actually mean. AI logic. What do you mean? Also, try double clicking. Dot. I love you, goofball. Double clicking? Double clicking doesn't seem to do anything. Fire, fire plus dragon egg. Um, scramble dragon omelet. Dragon scrambled egg? Nope, just regular dragon. Hmm. Dragon plus grave is fossil, I'm guessing. Nope, still just dragon. Batmobile plus dinosaur. Batosaurus. That's not even a word. Batosaurus? Barosaurus. Please don't be porn. There's Barosaurus. Oh, every time... Every time I'm streaming and I have a browser open... I'm afraid that there's gonna be something pornographic. And then the stream is gonna get flagged. 
Okay, Arkham plus Castle. Batcave. Please be Batcave. Nope, just Batman. Just turn on the safe search. Do I have safe, safe search on? Filter explicit results. Blur explicit results. There we go. Blur, please. Vosh's horse porn got leaked recently. It's like my worst... <laughs> it's my worst nightmare. So you guys seeing pornography on one of my streams. You know what? Streamers should not have porn on the same comp Also, they shouldn't be looking at horse porn at all, but stre <laughs> streamers should not be looking at porn on the same computers that they stream from. This computer that I have right here, designated streaming computer. And you know what? That's just the safest way to do it. Any device that you use for pornography, you have to consider that to be like, it's officially tainted now. Um, so if you look at porn on your phone, or if you look at porn on a certain device, like a computer or an iPad, whenever somebody else is using it, there should be an alarm going off in your brain thinking like, uh, 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 girl, <laughs> who let, who let her dad look at her phone for like 30 seconds. And in that 30 seconds, he saw a photo of her vagina. And I'm like, are you serious? Why did you, why did, if you had a photo of your vagina on your phone, why did you give your phone to your dad? Are you nuts? You must be crazy. You people in your porn, it never ends. Anyway, what was I doing? <laughs> if, if I ever, if there's ever accidentally porn that appears on mo one of my streams, just know it's not my porn because I don't look at porn on this computer at all. I don't look at porn at all anymore. But that's the safest way to do it. You gotta be safe with your porn usage. I know, I know you wanna keep a dick pic on your phone to send to ladies. When you meet a girl, you gotta be quick with the dick pic. You gotta have the dick pic on the ready. <laughs> so if someone goes sniffing around in your phone, be like, hey, if you look around on my phone, you might see my wiener. That could happen. Clay, clay plus pottery. Vase. Vase plus, wait, ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Uh, vase plus dead equals urn. Mummy, close. Vase plus dust equals urn. Pottery, shit. Hmm. House House plus Batman equals Batcave. Where is Batman? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that Batcave. Come hell or high water, I'll get that Batcave. Batman plus house. Batcave! Fuck yeah! There we go! There we go. Moon plus sun equals eclipse? Well, I have the sun in here. I don't think I have moon yet, do I? Do I have moon? Yes, I do. Moon plus sun. Eclipse! Eclipse plus Batman. Moon. Hmm. Moon, moon plus dragon. Werewolf. Interesting. <laughs> Max was the girl. Yeah, I showed my father a photo of my vagina. God, can you imagine? That's gotta be like what? <laughs> It's gonna be like one of the most embarrassing things that's ever happened to anyone ever. Do you accidentally show your dad a photo of your vagina? If you have a photo of your vagina on your phone, don't give your phone to your dad. Don't do it. I really, when I, when she told me about it, I was really rubbing it in too. I was making fun of her for the longest time, <laughs> which she probably didn't appreciate, but also, I'm sorry, I have to make fun of you if that happens. Oh. Batman plus Tornado. Dark Knight. Interesting. Dark Knight plus Justice League. Batman. Dark Knight... Dark Knight plus Superman. Batman again. Hmm. Hmm. 
Sea Serpent plus Sea Serpent? Leviathan. Leviathan plus Mummy. Golem? Sphinx. Interesting. Hmm. At least Dad saw you naked because you were a kid. It could have been worse. I guess my dad did see me naked when I was a kid. Uh, and I think I saw my dad naked as well. Although I didn't, I didn't grow up in one of those houses that had a lot of recreational nudity. I know some people... I've heard some people tell me that they grew up in a house where their family members would just walk around naked. And I'm like, that is the most horrible thing that I can imagine. That sounds awful. And to them, they're just like, well, you know, you get used to it. Like, to me, it was never weird because it was always the norm. And I'm like, yeah, and it's <laughs> it's awful. That is awful that that is your normal. That should not be normal. Ugh, I would hate that. I would despise that. Ugh. <laughs> My mom was terrible about it. Ugh! Having a mom who walks around naked? That's pure evil. That's the most evil thing I've ever heard. <laughs> God, I'm so glad I'm white. That is not a white people thing. Us whiteies, we don't do that. That's a brown people thing. <laughs> or so I've heard. I, I've heard that more from my brown friends than I've heard it from my white friends. You know, white people, we're a little more uptight. We're a little more prudish. And you know what? We like it that way. It's good that way. We don't want to see our parents walking around naked. Um, what haven't I tried? Hawaii plus werewolf. Hawaiian werewolf? Nope, regular werewolf. Uh, Leviathan. Leviathan plus dinosaur equals Godzilla? Nope, still just Leviathan. I thought that was gonna work. Leviathan plus Joker? God. Would you guys say that God is a Leviathan Joker? He's a bit of a jokester, I guess. He's a bit of a jokester, that God. And he is a Leviathan. Hmm. Leviathan plus water equals Subnautica? Let's find out. Um, water we have. Plus Leviathan. Whale. Whale plus Leviathan. Kraken. Kraken plus Leviathan. Cthulhu. Or Cthulhu, as I've also heard it pronounced. Cthulhu plus Cthulhu. Kraken plus Cthulhu. You know, I'm going to say Cthulhu. It sounds more normal to me. Um, Cthulhu... Cthulhu plus dinosaur equals Godzilla? Nope. Cthulhu plus dragon? T Tiamat. What is Tiamat? Tiamat, an ancient Mesopotamian mythology, the primordial, the primordial goddess who was the personification of the salt sea, the salt sea, and the mother of the gods. She was also associated with the chaos of creation. Interesting. This is a piece of Mesopotamian... Mesopotamian... Mesopotamian mythology. Which is a little tricky to say. It was also in D&D, &D, The Rise of Tiamat. It's just kind of a dragon with a bunch of heads, I guess. Interesting. This game is teaching me new things. Hmm. Mummy plus Tiamat. Cthulhu. Tiamat plus Superwolf. Fen Fenrir. F-E-N-R-I-R. F-E-N-R-I-R. Fenrir, or Fenrusulfur, is an antagonistic being in Norse mythology under the shape of a monstrous wolf. Okay. Interesting. Sphinx plus Gigantor? Colossus. 
Hmm. Leviathan. So we can make anything, in theory, we could make anything big by mixing it with Leviathan. Leviathan Dracula. What would that be? A regular vampire. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not. Leviathan Wood. Ship. Ship plus ocean equals cruise. Pirate. Eh, sort of. Pirate, ooh, pirate plus Batman. Nope, just Batman. Um, pirate plus Kraken. Sushi. Sushi plus Tiamat. Are those mix? Clean that up. Tiamat plus Sushi. These ones do not mix. Interesting. Um, Cthulhu plus God? Cthulhu. God plus God. More God. God plus Wood. Cross. Cross plus Vampire. Dead? Steak. Steak plus Vampire. Dead? Dust. Hit the vampire with the stake, it turns to dust. Interesting. Hmm. Batasaurus. I still don't know what Batasaurus is. I don't want to use that. That one's stupid. I'm not using that one. Pirate. Pirate plus Cthulhu. More pirate. Um. I feel like there's a lot of interesting things I could mix with God. Like, God plus Leviathan. Why are my fellow look? Americans prudes about nudity but love watching violence? I'm white and we walked around naked sometimes. Well, you guys are Didn't a bunch of Didn't do it perverts. all the time. Just wasn't unexpected. You guys are a bunch of also sick Superman perverts and freaks. Japan. What, you like seeing your family naked? You freak, you weirdo. I guess the reason that we we don't like nudity, the, the reason that most people, you know, a, a, the reason that we wear clothes at all is because people's bodies are inherently disgusting. I mean, certainly there would be some people that you would look at them and you would think, oh, I don't want to see you naked, you're gross naked. And when everyone is wearing clothes, even though there are, you know, there are some people that we want to see naked, then we don't have to see anyone we don't want to see naked. You know what I mean? I loved public bathing in Japan. Well, that sounds like a pervert problem. <laughs> you dumb kids and your nudity. Leviathan plus God equals Cthulhu, right? No, Titan. Interesting. I mean, a good a, a good 99.9% .9 of people you don't want to see naked. You just don't. It's too much. It's disgusting. People's bodies are gross. I know we're supposed to be body positive, but have you seen how gross some people's bodies are? Especially like the the larger majority of people over the age of 40? It's not good. It's not good stuff. It's not good stuff. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine living in a society where nudity is taboo. I'm good with that. I like it. So the only people that I see naked are the people that I choose to. I don't have to have somebody else's nudity forced upon my eyeballs, if you know what I mean. God plus dead? Okay, fine, we'll do God plus dead. Uh, where is dead? Zombie. Zombie God. I work in medicine. I saw a lot of people naked. Yeah, well... Obviously, some people are more bothered by it than others. If you want to get into uh, into the medical field, you have to be very ac accustomed to the human body. It has to become a very mundane thing to you. But for me, it's still not mundane, and I never want it to be mundane. <laughs> Max, please come visit France. Well, I've heard that is where the naked ladies dance. I have heard that. Vampire plus God. 
Dracula. Um, sushi plus God. Cthulhu? Sashimi. That's weird. Sh sh sashimi, that's just a... That's just a kind of sushi, right? See results closer to you? Not now. Sashimi is a Japanese delicacy consisting of fresh raw fish or meat sliced into thin pieces and often eaten with soy sauce. Yeah, that's just a kind of sushi. Um, whale, god. Jonah, interesting. <clears throat> that's especially interesting because in the Bible, it does not say that Jonah was swallowed by a whale. It only says that he was swallowed by a great fish. Now, maybe they just didn't have the word whale back then. But I don't think a, I don't think a whale is a fish, isn't it? Is it? Is it? Is it not a mammal? Whale, fish or mammal? Whales, dolphins, and porpoises are all mammals. The Bible fucked up. It shouldn't have said that Jonah was trapped in the belly of a of a great fish. It should have said that he was trapped in the belly of a great mammal. You fucked up, Bible. You question the words of the mighty Jimmy? This says the bubble. That don't say the Bible, that says the bubble. You question the words of the mighty Jimmy? Cross plus God equals Jesus. Yep. Oh, it's a little smiley face. We got a little smiley face, Jesus. How adorable. Jesus plus God equals Trinity? Christianity. Okay, that makes sense. Christianity plus pirates equals Jesus. Christianity plus moon, lunar, that's nothing. Christianity plus dinosaur, creationism. Christianity plus mummies, more Jesus. Christianity plus... Batman equals real Christianity. Max, did you watch Has Been Hotel? Nah. How do you like it? I didn't see it. Christianity pl Also, you guys need to quit asking me that. I'm always- you guys ask me that like once a stream. Thank you for the super chat though. I know that you don't know the person who just super chatted me, but thank you for the super chat. Christianity plus... Mirror equals Satanism, the opposite of Christianity. Catholicism, interesting. Catholicism plus Joker. The, the, the Pope. <laughs> Would you guys say that the Pope is like the Joker of Christianity? Is that what you would say? Christianity plus water. That would have to be holy water, right? I'm starting to get hungry. Christianity plus water. Baptism, almost. That's what holy water is used for. Baptism plus Dracula equals dust. Nope, just vampire. Vampire plus baptism equals angel. So if you have a vampire and you baptize them, they go to heaven and become an angel. And this game is science, so you so you know that that's true. Holy water made you hungry? No, holy water makes you thirsty for holy water to drink it. When you drink holy water, it makes you holier. Kraken plus angel. Mermaid. Angel plus Christianity equals... Jesus again. We have so many Jesus. That's the plural of Jesus. Jesus plus Jesus equal more Jesus. Jesus plus mermaid. Fish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fish. Fish plus Kraken. Sushi. We should do something interesting with the Pope. What can we do with the Pope? 
Pope. Hmm. Pope plus wood. Pencil. You know, like the Pope's cousin, Count Popula, a magical monster with pencils for arms. Pope plus God would have to be Jesus. Yes. Pope... Pope plus, plus, excuse me, baptism. Catholic. Catholic plus Catholic equals nine kids. Nope. <laughs> hmm. Catholic plus ship? No, wait. Pope plus ship. Wait. Wait. Ooh. Pope plus Batmobile equals Pope Mobile. Nope. Bat Pope. <laughs> Since Christianity says God created humans in his own image, good to know that he's got an ugly body too. I think specifically when it says that God created humans in his image, it, it, it means that God gave humans the, ab the ability to reason. The ab he, he made us in his mental image. We have consciousness and the ability to reason like he does. I don't think- if God looks like me, if he has a body like mine, I'll be really disappointed. Bat-Pope. I was really hoping I would get the Pope-mobile. Bat-Pope. I don't think that's anything. <laughs> AI images of Pope Francis as Batman. Alright. That's something. That's better than nothing. That's something. What do you guys think of that? Bat Pope. Pencil plus mud. Pottery. Um. Catholic plus Hawaii. Pineapple. Pineapple plus Jesus. Don't be ridiculous. Of course Jesus and pineapple don't mix. What are you thinking? Pineapple plus God. More pineapple. <laughs> pineapple cancels out God, unfortunately. God is not more powerful than a pineapple, it would appear. Pineapple to ocean. Interesting. SpongeBob's house? Pina colada. Pina colada... Plus Christianity. More pina colada. Oh, wait, I have two pina coladas. Pina coladia. What is pina coladia? It's nothing. Truly nothing. Okay. Lunar, which is the same as moon. Fish plus moon. Mermaid. Interesting. Batman, or excuse me, baptism plus Batman. Where is he? Batman, where are you? Baptized Batman. Christian Bale. <laughs> I wonder if it just shows Christian Bale because he has the name Christian. <laughs> This is our first real person! Maybe God and dirt will create humans? Interesting. Earth. We don't have dirt, but we do have Earth. Maybe Earth plus Earth makes dirt. No, that makes mountain. Earth plus mud? Clay. Earth. You take the Earth, you mix in some God. Where is he? Where are you? Just gonna type it in. Earth plus God. Angel. That's not right. Angel plus Christian Bale. Batman. Hmm. 
Clay plus God equals moral oral. Um, do I have clay? I do. I don't know where God is, though. I keep losing it. I keep losing God. I need to get closer to God. Adam! I don't think the Bible said that God made Adam out of clay. Um... Christian Bale plus Adam. If I could mix Adam with Eve, I guess I would get mankind, or I would get humans. Adam is not our first human, though. Christian Bale is our first human. In the beginning, God created Adam and Eve, but before that, he made Christian Bale. The true first humanoid. Batman. <laughs> Everything is Batman. Adam plus Earth equals Garden of Eden. Man, interesting. I'm guessing there's a lot of, there's gonna be a lot of stuff I can mix with man to get something interesting. Man plus God equals hero. Hero plus pencil? Drawing, that's stupid. Um, God plus hero? Hercules. Oh, because Hercules was a god, but he was also a hero. Hercules plus Adam, Superman. Hercules plus man, Superman. Man plus, what can I add to man? Man plus dragon. No, oh, those ones don't go together. Man plus dinosaur. Caveman. Dracula. Dragon, excuse me, plus Dracula. Vampire. Titan. Plus caveman. Titanic. Batman plus Pope. Bat Pope, we already did that. Bat Pope plus Bat Pope. More Bat Pope. Caveman plus fire. That's interesting. Let's try that. Cook. Just like that SpongeBob episode. When they discovered fire, the first thing they did is they started cooking. Make SpongeBob quick. I wish I could. I don't know how to go about setting out to make something. I have no idea how to do that. Try God and Adam, I think, makes Eve. That, ooh, that could make sense. God made Eve from one of Adam's ribs. Which I don't understand why he was able to make Adam out of nothing, but for Eve he needed a rib. But I think maybe it's supposed to be symbolic. That Eve literally came from a part of him, so it was like she was a part of him. Let's see what we get. Eve! We got her! Okay. Let's organize this a little bit. Eve plus Adam equals human. Human plus man equals woman. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> sort of. Man plus woman equals baby. Love. Oh. Love plus Jesus equals Christ. Christ plus zombie <laughs> equals more Jesus. Love could be useful. Human is gonna be useful, I think. Humans plus love equals baby? Angel. Nope. Love? Hmm. Love plus Christ equals Christianity? We do have Christ. Nope, that equals Christmas. But we did get our first holiday. Love plus pineapple? More pineapple. Uh, pineapple... This is, a, this is a stroke of genius. Pineapple plus house equals Spongebob. Please, 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 please. Pineapple under the sea. Well, we got a line from the song anyway. Hmm.
Pineapple under the sea plus... Plus ocean? SpongeBob! Hey! We got there! Alright! SpongeBob plus... Love... Patrick! SpongeBob loves Patrick! Interesting. Woman plus love. Marriage. Would I get something different if I did man plus love? Woman. Man plus love is woman. Woman plus love is marriage. I'm not sure if that's sexist. I'm sure it could be spun as sexist, though. Hmm. This, this is so goddamn wholesome. I love it. Well, it was wholesome until you just said goddamn. Until you just took the name of my lord in vain. Shame on you. Let's try Spongebob plus Patrick. Spongebob Squarepants is the name of the show. Sometimes what you want to do, though, is you want to break down something into its, like, smaller elements. So how would I go about getting Squidward? Would Squidward be... Hmm. Also, I'm hungry. I need to take a bite. Squidward could be maybe Kraken. Kraken plus SpongeBob SquarePants. Nope. Um. SpongeBob plus. Actually, what about just SpongeBob plus SpongeBob? More SpongeBob. Patrick plus SpongeBob. SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob plus... Mm, sponge. I, <laughs> I got Sponge, but I, I wasn't paying attention on what I combined it with. Sponge plus Woman. Scrubber. Patrick. Patrick plus Caveman. SpongeBob. SpongeBob plus Love. Patrick. Patrick plus love. SpongeBob. SpongeBob and Patrick love each other. Squid and Art make Squidward? Look at the chat. Well, I don't have Squid and I don't have Art. And also, I think the way this works is I think there would be a lot of things that could make Squidward in theory. Actually, where's the mirror? I have an idea. Because somebody in the chat... Somebody in the chat just said, Mount Justice. Combine Mountain with Justice League, got Mount Justice. Somebody in the chat just said, Hate. If I combine Mirror with Love... Will I get Hate? Narcissism. Narcissism with... Christmas. Santa. Santa plus Spongebob. More Christmas. Pineapple under the sea. With love? Spongebob. Hmm. I wish I could just type something in. Octopus. It's not allowed. Hmm. <laughs> Santa is a narcissist? A little bit, maybe. I mean... He is always watching people. In the very least, I think we can assume that Santa is a pervert. He must be. You think that he has the power to watch anybody at any time, and he's not being a pervert sometimes? He must have remarkable discipline. If he's not sometimes perving, perving around. He's perving around. Kraken plus Spongebob. Where's Kraken? More Spongebob. Spongebob plus Jesus? Sponge Jesus. We got Sponge Jesus, everybody! 
We got sponge Jesus. Wolf, I'll go away. Sponge Jesus plus Patrick. Patrick Jesus? Nope, just SpongeBob. Patrick plus Jesus. Saint Patrick. Brilliant. That makes sense. Saint Patrick plus Christmas. Saint Patrick's Day. Nope, Santa Claus. Santa Claus plus Make Saint market Patrick. Clear. Uh, what did you say? Make Markiplier? I don't know how to go out of my way to make things. I truly have no idea. Wolf, oh, don't bite that. Don't chew that. St. Patrick plus Santa Claus. St. Patrick's Day. Leprechaun. Okay. Leprechaun plus woman. Girl Leprechaun? St. Patrick's Day. Interesting. Marriage plus man equals pride? You can try it. Husband. Shame on you for thinking it would be pride. Clearly, it's husband. Husband plus woman equals wife? Yes. Wife plus husband equals marriage. Divorce? No! No! Why? Husband plus wife equals divorce? Why? That's evil. Okay, divorce plus... Divorce plus marriage equals more divorce. Everything leads to divorce. No. Oh, now I'm sad. Shit. Throw some love on the divorce. All right, love plus divorce. Hate. I only finally got hate. I'm looking for that one. Um... Human plus SpongeBob equals human SpongeBob? Nope, just sponge. SpongeBob. Let me clean this. Let me clean this up. SpongeBob plus Batman. Where is he? Where are you? Batman, where are you? There you go. SpongeBob plus Batman equals. Bat sponge. Sponge bat. Fuck yes. I need to see SpongeBob dressed as Batman now. <laughs> yes! It's real. Uh, hang on. Those are just regular SpongeBobs. Hell yeah. This is from an episode. Um, this one I don't remember from an episode. But this is this is this is a very baddie sponge. Uh anyway, what else do I need to try? Christianity plus divorce. For when you decide to divorce Christianity. Where's Christianity? There it is. Catholicism. Are Catholics allowed to get divorced? Are Catholics allowed to get divorced? I know they're not allowed to use birth control. The Catholic Church prohibits divorce and permits annulments, a finding that the marriage was not canonically valid, under a narrow set of circumstances. Hmm. Interesting. God plus Spongebob equals Steven Hillenberg? We can try that. Um, yeah, we'll do Spongebob Squarepants. Spongebob Squarepants plus God equals more Spongebob. Uh, Spongebob the character plus God. Still more Spongebob. Husband plus God. Zeus. Because Zeus was a god who was a husband. Hate plus Zeus. Hades. 
interesting. Hate could be interesting, because that might turn things opposite. So, hate plus wife. Boomer jokes? Nope, divorce. I thought it was going to be a boomer joke about hating your wife. Hate plus woman equals sexism? Mother-in-law. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Hate... Hate plus man. Enemy. Interesting. God, we can mix hate with so many things. What about hate plus love? War. Mm, not really. That would just be hate plus hate. Which is also war. And love plus love is... Heart. Heart plus hate? Broken. Interesting. Hades plus love? Persephone. Was that the name of Hades' wife? Persephone slash Kor is a goddess, Demeter's daughter by Zeus, wife of Hades and queen of the underworld. Her most important myth is that of her abduction by Hades, her father's brother. In Orphic literature, she is Dionysus' mother by Zeus. Hades had a wife. And she was a baddie. Damn. Oof. This is how I'm trying to be. Ladies, this could be us, but you playing. Let it be known. I Let it be known, ladies. I this crafting. What? Love. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I'm just having a hard time thinking of what I... Thinking of what I can do and trying to figure out how to do anything. Maybe it is just something you're meant to play with indefinitely. Hades... Hades plus Persephone equals marriage? Where is she? Or where is he? Pomegranate? What? Why? Hades plus Persephone equals pomegranate. That's a fruit, right? With big seeds? Zeus plus Persephone would equal father? Athena. I think that's where they lived. That's where the gods lived? Or is this just another god? It is just another god. Athena was the patron goddess of heroic endeavor. She was believed to have aided the heroes Perseus, Hercules... Bellerophon and Jason. What does this have to do with pomegranates? Pomegranate Greek mythology. Before its medicinal properties were described by the pom were described, the pomegranate was held sacred by many of the world's major religions. In the Greek myth of Persephone's abduction by Hades, lord of the underworld, the pomegranate represents life, regeneration, and marriage. Interesting. Did Hades abduct Persephone by luring her with a pomegranate? Wow, Max's knowledge is showing. What, my my abundance of knowledge? Is that what you mean? Certainly, that must be what you mean. My abundance of knowledge. You can make Captain Planet now. You have the heart and the elements. Yeah, the problem is... The problem is you can only combine two things at a time. And to get Captain Planet, you'd need Earth, Fire, Wind, Water, and Heart all at once. Um, there could be interesting things we could mix with heart, though, like fire, to get love. Heart mixed with earth, tree, heart mixed with water, blood. Blood mixed with wife, vampire. You could probably just mix a lot of things with blood and you would get vampire, I think. Hmm. Mud and blood? That could be interesting. Vampire. Everything is vampire. 
Hate mixed with heart. Broken. Persephone mixed with... Husband would be Hades. Yeah, we already did that. Um, Santa mixed with hate is Naughty List. No, Satan. We finally got Satan. I don't know why you mixed hate and Santa and you get Satan. Satan mixed with Spongebob. <laughs> Where is he? Wolfo, don't do that. Stop it. Stop it. Um, war mixed with love? Peace. Okay. Peace mixed with war. Truce. Truce mixed with mother-in-law. More peace. Woman plus blood equals period? Okay, we can try that. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. You are funny. Blood plus woman. Vampire. Almost. It wasn't a bad idea. Vampire plus blood would be more vampire. Hmm. Max, mix serpent and Eve. I don't have serpent. I have sea serpent. But I could mix sea serpent with earth to get land serpent. Leviathan. Whoops. Okay. We could mix... We could still try, though. Serpent plus Eve. Where is she? Eve, where are you hiding? Oh, there she is. Mermaid. Interesting. Mermaid plus war. Ariel. Is there a war in that movie? Ariel plus wife. Mermaid. Mermaid plus husband. Merman. Interesting. There is a search function at the bottom. I know, but I can only search for things I've already found. So I can search sponge. If I search sponge, I get SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants, Sponge, Sponge Jesus, and Sponge Bat. Can I get a SpongeBob Jesus? The Holy Sponge is one of the instruments of the Passion of Jesus. It was dipped in vinegar, most likely Posca. I'm not sure what Posca is. A regular beverage of Roman soldiers. Roman soldiers drank vinegar? That's disgusting. Ugh. I would not want that. Offended? Um, are you offended, liberals? I drew SpongeBob on the cross. Ooh. I drew SpongeBob on the cross. Did that blow your fucking mind? Hmm. Okay. Enemy. You know what? Ooh, wait a minute. Enemy plus... Enemy plus Spongebob equals Plankton, right? Nope. Spongebob Squarepants plus enemy is Plankton. Nope. Enemy of Catholicism is Satan. Nope. Crusade. Shit. Not having a lot of success with guessing these. Hate plus Spongebob. Squidward. All right, we got him. We got Squidward. Okay, Squidward plus... Squidward plus Spongebob equals Annoyed? Nope. Do you have Mr. Krabs? I don't have Mr. Krabs. Not yet, anyway. Squidward plus love. Nothing. Hmm. 
am I going to do with Squidward? I wanted Squidward for the longest time, and now I'm not sure what to do with him. Squidward plus... Leviathan. Giant Squidward? Nope, Cthulhu. Sort of makes sense. Eve and Satan? Okay. Where is she? Actually, you know what? It's going to be easier if I start just typing it in. Because the longer that list gets, the trickier it's going to be. Sin. Um. Sin plus man. Crime. Crime plus Batman equals justice? Please be justice. Yes! Oh, yeah. It's so satisfying when you guess it and you're right. Ooh, I love that. Squidward plus human? Okay. Um... That's just Spongebob. Hmm. Broken plus tree equals stump. Log, almost. Peace plus vampire. Dracula. Dracula plus justice. Vampire. Spongebob plus Athena. Spongebob. Broken plus pomegranate seeds. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> I think I might want to wrap this up soon. I'm kind of getting bored. Woman plus divorce. Parrot? What? A woman gets divorced and so she buys a pet parrot? Hmm. Let me get my let me get my squid words out. Put everything together. Parrot mixed with log. Pirate. Sort of. They got the peg leg. The peg leg and the and the parrot on the shoulder. Take out my Squidwards. Max, you wanted to check other games this website have? Yeah, I will. But I'm not quite done with this one yet. I'm gonna see what I can get when I mix Squidward in here. Squidward plus wife. Squidina. Squidina is another different SpongeBob character, right? Isn't this Patrick's sister? Are Squidina and Squidward gonna get married? There's also this character. Who also looks like a squid. Hmm. Interesting. Santa Claus plus Squidward. SpongeBob. Hate plus Squidward equals SpongeBob. Squid. That's nothing. Truly nothing. Christian Bale plus Squidward? Squidward Tentacles, his full name. Squidward plus drawing. More Squidward. Squidward plus marriage. Divorce. If you marry Squidward, you'll have a you'll have a divorce. Blood plus Squidward. More Squidward. Heart plus Squidward. SpongeBob. Sin plus Squidward. Nothing. Seed. SpongeBob. 
justice. SpongeBob. It all comes back to SpongeBob. Well, this is Infinite Craft. I think I'm pretty much done with it. Oh, I have chocolate all over my hands. How long has that been there? <laughs> Uh, it's an interesting little thing. It's a little toy. I wouldn't call it a game. I would more so call it a toy. <clears throat> yeah. Check it out. Neil.fun. Now here's the part of uh, the stream where you guys can choose what I play next. Internet artifacts, the password game, space elevator, asteroid launcher, draw a perfect circle... Wonders of Street View, Days Sense Incident, Design the Next iPhone, Absurd Trolley Problems. I want to try Absurd Trolley Problems, because that sounds fun. Let me try this one first. Uh, if I have to pick something else, then you guys can pick it, pick it for me, but I do want to try this. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person instead. What do you do? Pull the lever. Why not? Splat. 73% of people agree with you. 27% disagree. Uh, okay. Out of s over 7 million votes. 7.75 million votes. Oh no! A trolley is heading towards five people! Can you pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing four people instead? What do you do? Um... If it's just four people, it, it would be better if four... I mean, four people dying isn't that much better than five people dying, but it's still preferable, right? 67% of people agree with you, 33% disagree. I think the thing with the trolley problem is... The reason people feel cagey about it is because they feel like by pulling the lever, you are becoming somewhat culpable for the deaths. When it, if you just did nothing, more people would die, but then you would be culpable for none of it. But I would rather be... I don't know, I would still want less people to die. It's still preferable if less people die. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the level, the lever to divert it to the other track, and then your life savings will be destroyed. What do you do? Uh... Yeah, do nothing. I mean, if I saved five people's lives, would they not help me reimburse some of that money? They might not. They might be five poor people. I can make more money. I know that I can make more money, but those people will not recover their lives. So it would probably be for the case. It would probably it would probably be the best if if those people lived. So I will do nothing. Oh wait, no, do, do doing nothing kills them. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it was a stupid mistake to make. <laughs> oh well. I was supposed to pull the lever to get my money squished, not do nothing to get the money squished. Oops. Oops. That's a big oops right there. It's one hell of an oops. Whatever. You know, you gotta break a few eggs to make an omelet. That's what they say. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. Oh, and I'm one of them. You can pull the letter to divert it to the other track, sacrificing yourself instead. <laughs> oh. So the only way I live is if five other people die? Alright, I'll pull the lever. You know, we all have to die someday, and for most of us, our death is something that's truly meaningless. But wouldn't it be great if since you have to die someday anyway, if your death could mean saving other people, you could die for other people, you could give your life to save people. So I'll do it. I'll pull the lever. You know, I'll save them. Why not? 39% of people agree with you. 61% disagree. So most people would rather save their own skin than let other people die. I would sacrifice my life to save others. I would. 
What do I care? You know, it's like, what is my life sucks anyway, so who gives a shit? It's nothing worth saving. Oh no, a trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, but then the original copy of the Mona Lisa will be destroyed. Uh, it's just artwork. It's a very important painting, but it's just artwork. It's truly just art. It's not, like, it is very valuable. It's, it, you know, it's history. It's a piece of history. But even, a, I think, a piece of history is not worth as much as people's lives. 76% of people agree with you. Okay. A trolley is heading towards a rich man. The rich man offers you 500,000 to pull the lever. Which would divert the trolley and kill someone else. What would you do? Well... No matter what I do, someone's gonna die. But I would- but either someone can- someone can die and I won't get 500,000, or someone can die and I will get 500,000. So I'll pull the lever for that one. Why not? Someone's gonna die anyway! 53% of people agree with you, 47% disagree. Okay. A trolley is heading towards five lobsters. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over a cat instead. Do nothing. I eat lobsters. Lobsters are not worth saving. A cat is worth saving. 84% of people agree with you. 84% of people know what they're talking about. 84% of people made the right choice. I don't know if the life of a cat is worth more than the life of a lobster, I guess. Trolley is heading towards five people who are sleeping and won't feel pain. You can pull the lever to divert it to the, uh, to the other track, running over someone who is wide awake instead. What do you do? Uh, I pull the lever. It's still five. It's still five fucking people. 51% of people agreed with you. So people were pretty split on that one. Trolley is heading towards five people who tied themselves to the track. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person who accidentally tripped onto the track instead. What do you do? So it's five people who want to die versus one person who doesn't want to die? I do nothing then. If they want to die, let them die. 79% of people agreed with you. Trolley heading towards five people, the lever just speeds up the trolley, which might make it less painful. What what do you do? Pull the lever? I don't really understand the point of that one. If you can do something to make it less painful and the same amount of people are going to die either way, then why wouldn't you? Trolley is heading towards one guy. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, but then your Amazon package will be late. <laughs> oh, come on. 79% of people agree with you. So 21% of people would rather let someone die than just receive an Amazon package that's, like, slightly late? That's ridiculous. People are so selfish. The trolley is heading towards your best friend. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing five strangers instead. Um... I would do nothing. Sorry, best friend. I'm not gonna kill five people to save one. It just doesn't make sense. 28% of people agree with you, 72% disagree. Wow, people really like their best friends, I guess. A trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one person instead. At least that's what you think is happening. You forgot your glasses and can't see all that well. What do you do? I'll pull the lever. Okay, 53% of people agreed with me. A trolley is heading towards one of your first cousins. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing three people three of your second cousins instead. What do you do? When it comes down to just a, a matter of numbers, I feel like anything else is irrelevant. Like, I, pr I might have a better 
relationship with my first cousin than I would have with my second cousins. But it's just one person versus three. Fifty-six percent of people agree with you. Interesting. Charlie is heading towards five elderly people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, running over a baby instead. Uh, I would do nothing. I think the elderly people would understand that they're old, they've had their fun, they've lived their lives, their lives are over. Um, they probably don't have that much longer anyway. That baby has its whole life ahead of him. Seventy-six percent of people agree with you. I think even those old people would agree. I think if you're an old person, you would probably give your life to save a baby, knowing that you've already lived. And that you don't have much time left. Like, if you took all the time from those five elderly people and added it up, all the time that they have left, I don't think it would equal as much time as that baby has. And also, the baby has a better quality of life ahead of him. Because all the old people have ahead of them is being old, which is not fun. Nobody likes being old. Oh no, a trolley is barreling towards five identical clones of you. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, sacrificing yourself instead. Um... No, I would not give my life... I would not give my life to save my clones. No! Shit! <laughs> Sometimes you click the wrong one. It's, sometimes the question is unclear! Fart. I wanted to kill my clones. Trolley is heading towards a mystery box with a 50% chance of containing two people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, hitting a mystery box with a 10% chance of 10 people. Uh, pull the lever. Of course, if there's a question that contains a mystery, it would be nice if after you choose, it tells you if there were people in there or not, but it doesn't. A 10% chance of 10 people, so does that mean a 90% chance of no people, or a 90% chance of another different amount of people? How does one play through the 20 hours of Amori? From the hit game Amori, but not have closure of watching the last two endings. I did get to see the ending of Omori. Do you mean I don't... Uh, do, you, do you mean I didn't see the other endings? Like, the bad endings? I did. I saw those as well. I watched them on YouTube. A trolley is heading towards five sentient robots. Oh boy, here we go with the fucking robots. Can you pull the lever to divert it to the other track, killing one human instead? No! Human life is worth more than robot life! You can call me a racist all you want, I don't care. I don't give a shit about those damn machines. They're nothing but diodes, capacitors, and resistors, interconnections, and transistors. Jammed together like canned sardines, thousands of teeny tiny machines printed on microscopic strips. Called chips. I can shoot off a rocket and chart it and clock it, control it, command it, and steer it, and land it precisely there on the moon. It's hard to explain. But some people assume that I have a brain. Trolley is heading towards three empty trolleys worth 900,000. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, hitting one empty trolley worth 30,000 instead. This is, ju this is just a monetary decision. Why would this be a hard decision to make? If it's just, like, monetary sum versus other monetary sum... Of course, I might accidentally click the wrong one like I am often doing. Trolley is heading towards three empty... Why did my music stop? Interesting. Trolley is heading towards three empty trolleys. 900,000. Or one empty trolley worth 300,000. Okay, pull lever. 78% of people... Why would not just 100% of people agree with that? It's just less collateral damage. A trolley is releasing 100 kilograms of CO2 per year, which will kill five people over 30 years. 
You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, hitting a brick wall and decommissioning the trolley. What do you do? I do nothing, because they're gonna make me pay for it. You're not allowed to just go around destroying trolleys because they're bad for the environment. Somebody owns that trolley. They're gonna sue me. You're a reincarnated being. I am. Who will eventually be reincarnated as every person in this classic trolley problem. <laughs> what?! Uh, oh no! You're a reincarnated being who will eventually be reincarnated as every person in this classic trolley problem. What do you do? Um... I guess nothing. Because I'm too confused by the question. <laughs> oh, What an absurd trolley problem. I guess it doesn't matter. I'll 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 experience the story from every perspective eventually anyway. Trolley is heading towards nothing, but you kind of want to prank the trolley driver. <laughs> well, if I want to prank him, then I prank him. Oh, he would be so fucking pranked. Be like, what did somebody pull a lever somewhere? What? Trolley is headed towards a good citizen. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track. Running over someone who litters instead. <sighs> See, that would be an easy decision to make if this guy, the bad citizen, if he was like a pedophile or a murderer, or excuse me, PDF file. <laughs> if he was a PDF file or a murderer or a serial killer, but he's just a litterer? You know, I do dislike people who litter. Um, because if people didn't litter, my neighborhood would look much more pretty, because there's litter all over the place in my neighborhood. And there are places where you can go where nobody litters, and they always look so much nicer. I don't think somebody who litters deserves to die, though. And yet, I will kill them anyway. To set an example. So everybody who sees this knows, you know what? If you go around littering, it's only a matter of time before somebody takes you the fuck out. Oh no, due to a construction error, a trolley is stuck in an eternal loop. If you pull the lever, the trolley will explode, and if you don't, the trolley and its passengers will go in circles for eternity. Uh, I would do nothing. Because I'm sure they could find a way to get out eventually. They could probably just jump off and... You know, you just tuck and roll. You jump, you tuck, you roll. 41% of people who agree with you. Alright. Well, 41% of people are correct. Because my decisions are always correct. Trolley is heading towards your worst enemy. You can pull the lever to divert the trolley and save them, or you can do nothing... And no one will ever know. Interesting. <sighs> what would somebody have to do to deserve being my worst enemy? You know, I do always say that we have to wish harmony to those who wish harm on us, or harm on me, or harm on you, or harm on anyone. I wouldn't call somebody my enemy if they just wished harm on me, though. I, I mean, really, I wouldn't call anyone my enemy. I don't think I have any enemies. I don't think I ever will. But for somebody to be my enemy, they would have they would have to be like a PDF file or something. And I would have to be like Chris Hansen. Or maybe like I'm a detective and my worst enemy is like a serial killer who keeps evading me. In which case, it would be justice for them to die. If they if they are murderers, it is only just that they should die as well. <laughs> How can you kill Goofball? Oh, I would love to kill Goofball. Hmm. 
Chris Hansen doesn't run PDF files over with a trolley, but wouldn't it be great if he did? Wouldn't that make Dateline NBC? Yeah, they wouldn't have canceled it. They wouldn't have canceled that show. They wouldn't have canceled that bit on Dateline NBC. If he got to, if after, after he confronts the PDF files, he gets to run them over with a trolley. That would be very cathartic for the viewer, I think. Especially if the viewer is a victim of, of a PDF file themselves. Goofball is already dead, that is true. You know what? This is Relax with Max. And in the spirit of Relax with Max, in the spirit of being Zen, we will wish harmony to those who wish harm on us. Jesus said, love thy enemy, or I think he said that, Maybe. Did Jesus say that? Or, or is that just a general Bible quote? To love thy enemy. To love thine enemy. And so I will love thine enemy. And I will let my enemy live. Oh wow, 50? That's a perfect 50-50 split. 50% 50 of people agreed with you. Wow. Love thy neighbor. That's in there as well. That's, that's also definitely in the Bible, but I could have sworn that love thine enemy was in there as well. I think both of them are in there. Love thy neighbor as thyself, and love the Lord God with all thy heart. That's the most important commandment. Somebody asked Jesus, which of the, tw which of the ten commandments? I almost, <laughs> I almost just said twelve commandments. They said, which of the ten commandments is the most important? And he said... Love thy neighbor as thy, as thyself, and love the Lord God with all thy heart, which isn't even a commandment at all. So, Jesus was a little weaselly with the question there. <laughs> um, Jesus, that wasn't what I asked. Would you like to answer the question again? <sighs> Trolley is heading towards a person with... Uh, towards a person and will lower their lifespan by 50 years. Whoa, wait a minute. A trolley is heading towards a person and will lower their lifespan by 50 years, so it won't kill them right away. You can pull the lever to divert the trolley and lower the lifespan of five people by 10 years. Okay, that's that's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. Because the last 10 years of your life, they're not going to be great anyway. You're going to be an old person. Nobody wants to be old. It's not fun to be old. What else do we got? Trolley is heading towards five people. You can pull the lever to divert it to the other track, sending the trolley into the future to kill five people a hundred years from now. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. It's just kind of putting the problem off till later. But when five people are killed in the future, it's going to be equally as tragic. So I guess just let them die now. Just do it now and get it over with. 29% of people agree with you. Okay. A trolley problem is playing out before you. <laughs> do you actually have a choice in this situation? Or has everything been predetermined since the universe began? Uh... Hmm. So here the question is just, do you believe in free will or not? Which I, you know, I guess I've never really thought about it. I know the arguments for and against free will, but I don't... I don't know if I've ever reached a conclusion. If everything I am, if all of my thoughts, if, if all of my thoughts and memories and perceptions and beliefs... If they're all just the byproduct of the... of the... <laughs> Of the of the biological mechanisms of my physical brain, then am I making decisions, or are the decisions predetermined by my brain? And all of those little electrical impulses running around in there. I don't know. I guess I don't have a choice. Maybe. I'm not sure. I would have to reflect on that for a good long while. <laughs> Congratulations, you have solved philosophy! Kill count 33, or 63, excuse me. 63 people. 
is the amount of people that need to die for you to have a perfect understanding. Hey Max, I've been watching your videos pretty much since you started posting on YouTube. Oh, Finally wow. caught you streaming and wanted to say I'm glad you're doing well and still posting. Eh. Doing well? I don't know if I would say that. Still posting? Yeah, I guess I am still posting. Are any of us doing well? I'm still alive. You can say that. Internet artifacts, the password game, space elevator, asteroid launcher, draw a perfect circle, wonders of street view, days since incident, design the next iPhone, absurd trolley problems, earth reviews, let's settle this, ambient chaos, rocks, it's quite an interesting name, sell, 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 universe forecast, the auction game, printing money, Life Stats, The Deep Sea, The Size of Space. I think this one I've seen. I think I saw this going around on the internet once. Wow, space is so big. I've never heard anyone say space is big Love your before. enemies, bless them, that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you, and persecute you. There you go. That's a, that's the, that is the direct quote. From the Bible. This says the Bible. I know that's the Bible. Love thy enemies. The world would be a better place if everybody could love thy enemy. Share this page. Dark patterns. Who was alive? Where does the day go? Life checklist. Speed. Paper. Draw logos from memory. That could be fun. <laughs> Progress. Spend Bill Gates's money and baby map. What do you guys think? Draw a perfect circle? Man, you guys really want me to draw the perfect circle. Okay. I will draw the perfect circle. Draw a circle around this. Too close to the dot. <laughs> Is that it? <laughs> hmm. Uh, uh, uh. 91%, not bad. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay, that was awful. Hang on. This would be a lot easier if I could do it with a pen instead of a mouse. Hey, 97! Fuck yeah! I don't think I'm doing any better than that. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I challenge any of you dorks to do better than that. What else we got? I want to draw logos from memory. Draw the McDonald's logo. Uh, eh? Oh wait, can I st can I start over? It's like this, isn't it? Uh, 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 eh? Ba da ba ba ba! I'm loving it. When I was a kid, it was McDonald's. We love to see you smile. No, they fucking don't. I go in there smiling all the time. They don't give a shit. Nailed it. Nailed it. Draw a Nike logo. Okay, this one's easy. Everyone knows the swoop. We know that one. Nailed it. Nailed it! Apple logo. Um, uh, uh, one bite. Like that? Oh, it's supposed to be filled in. Yeah, whatever. Starbucks logo. This is when it gets tricky. I hate Starbucks. I have been doing so good sticking to my New Year's resolution. Um, since New Year's, I've only gone to Starbucks once, and it just reaffirmed my belief that I should never go to Starbucks ever again, because I hate Starbucks. Um, there's a, there's a mermaid... And she's got 
a tail going that way and a tail going that way. <laughs> Guys, don't go to Starbucks anymore. Some of their drinks are good, but they're not that good. You can get drinks just that good anywhere. Just like go to your local coffee place. Their food is awful. And that's probably why I hate them. Because when I go to get food at like a fast food place, I don't just get a drink, I get food too. And their food is just like all microwaved. I can't take it anymore. I'm never going in there. I don't know. All those years when I used to go there, I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, it was in a circle. And she has a crown. Alright, close enough. Draw the Amazon loan, though. Oof, oof. Um... I might have totally forgotten it. What would it be like? Amazon, a am Amazone, and then, <laughs> and then there's a box concealed by a box. Delivery. Shit, forgot this. Whatever. Okay, Pepsi logo. Oh, you can click there to get more colors. Interesting. Pepsi. Okay. This is fun. This is fun. I like this. Don't ask me. <laughs> Don't ask me why, but I like this. I'm going to nail this. Watch. Watch as I just knock this right out of the fucking park. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hang on, hang on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to remember Pepsi Man. Bippus. Shit. There's a white thing. There's a white thing in the middle. Okay, next up, Twitter logo. This is the game dating itself a little bit, because Twitter is X now. I got a bird. Now that Twitter is called X, what are tweets called? They're just X posts? I've not considered it. I'm a little fatter than I think he's supposed to be. That's all right. He got fired to uh, being their mascot. Okay, wrong direction. Facing the wrong direction. Snapchat logo. Snapchat has a ghost. I think. Like this. Hey, Wolfo's here. What's up, Wolfo? Came to see me? Shush. You shush. Don't whine. What are you whining for? <laughs> I haven't used Snapchat. Recently. I used to use it. And then I looked at it one day and I realized it... It had become a monument to girls I didn't get to have sex with. And so I stopped using it. What do you want? What? What do you want? Why are you torturing me, huh? Oh, it has a black outline and no face. So kind of like that. What? What do you want? Stop it! No, you can't get in my lap. Draw the NASA logo. Um, <laughs> I don't remember it. Hang on, hang on. Okay. Hmm. 
Something like this? Oh, it's a lot more complicated than I remember. Nobody would be able to do that from memory. That's a complicated thing right there. Draw the Google logo. Okay, goo. Oh. Oh. Gee, I stopped using Google recently too. Because it's just completely overrun with ads. You search you search something on Google and not only are all of all of the initial results ads, but after that, now a lot of the results are just like AI generated websites that I think are literally generated off of your search. And it's become like almost impossible to use. It's terrible. I don't know what the fuck happened to Google. Like, you just can't use it anymore. And so now I'm using Bing. Which I don't love, but... Uh, I got that mostly right. I got the, the order of the colors wrong. This is supposed to be red. That's supposed to be yellow. First is supposed to be blue. Got the green, got the green L correct. Put that there. All right, nailed it. Man, everybody used to make fun of people for using Google, or excuse me, for using Bing. Bing used to be the butt of every joke. This is just an an Amoogus character. And now. In the year of our Lord 2024, I find myself using the Bing. I'll give it boobies. Close big enough. Eyes, grinning face, grinning face with big eyes, grinning face with smiling eyes, beaming face with smiling eyes, grinning, squinting face, grinning face with sweat rolling on the floor, laughing face with tears of joy, smiling face with hard eyes, 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 smiling face with hard eyes. Smiling face with hard eyes, smiling face with hard eyes, rolling on the floor laughing, 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 crown, 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 crown. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. What would I do without my brilliant super chats? Whatever would I do? Spotify. I don't think I've ever used Spotify. This one was kind of fun. I had fun with this one. Uh, are there any more of these games you guys want me to check out? Or should we call it quits for the day? What do you think? <clears throat> Please do life checklist. I don't want to do life checklist because it will depress me. Because I'll realize that <laughs> that I didn't check off enough in my life. This one? I don't want to do that one. I'm guessing it's just you check off things that you've done. Born? Yeah. First steps? Yeah. First words. Learn to read. Make a friend. Learn to ride a bike. Read a book. Learn to swim. Finish elementary school. Play a sport. Fly in a plane. Ride a boat. Ride in a train. Ride, oop, ride in a helicopter. I don't think I've ever been in a helicopter in my life. See the ocean? Grew up near the ocean. See snow? Grew up near snow. Make a snowman? Of course! When you're a child and there's snow out, of course you're gonna make one. Finish middle school, go to a concert, go camping, ride a roller coaster, play an instrument. Not well. Get kissed? Yeah. Get a credit card? Yeah. Start driving? Uh, I started driving, but I didn't continue to do it. Go on a road trip? How long does a road trip need to be for it to be a road trip? I've been on car trips. There's no benchmark to qualify for a road trip. Okay, well then I took a road trip to the grocery store. Why not? Visit another country. Done that. Give a speech. Done that. Graduate high school. Learn another language. Not well enough to say that I've done it. Not, not well enough to be conversational. Invest some money. Done that. Meet an idol. You know, they say don't meet your idols, and I don't think I, I ever have met an idol. 
<laughs> Make a terrible mistake? Oh, I've done plenty of that. Win a trophy? Probably done that. Climb a mountain? Done that. Run a marathon? No. Learn to cook? Yeah. Explore a cave? Don't think I've ever been in a cave. Seen a volcano? Don't think I've ever seen that. Graduate college? No. Have a long relationship? I'll say yes, but I, I don't know how long they mean by long. Get dumped? Yeah. Sign a contract? Yeah. Get a job? Yeah. Get promoted? No. Get a paycheck? Get fired? Get in the news? Vo Ooh, I don't know if I've ever voted before. I'm not a big voter. I'm not really into politics in that way. Let me tell you, don't tell people that you don't vote, because they get real annoyed when they find out that you don't vote. You guys are cool with it, right? You guys aren't annoyed that I don't vote? Oh, you guys are cool. You guys are cool. You know that I'm not all about that. Switch careers, buy a house. Okay, now we're getting into the bad the bad stuff. Get engaged, no. Get married, no. Have a kid, no. Teach your kid to walk, no. Teach your kid to talk, no. Watch your kid graduate, no. Watch your kid get married, no. Become a grandparent, no. Retire, no. Tell your grandkid a story, no. See a solar eclipse, yes. That should be earlier on the list. Plant a garden. You know, recently I've been thinking about starting one of those little, those little micro-ecosystem terrariums. Travel the world? No. Turn 100? No. Complete life checklist? Yes! That one you can't click? Maybe that's part of the joke. The joke is you can't click that one. Internet artifacts, the password game, space elevator, asteroid launcher, draw a perfect circle, wonders of street view, design the next iPhone, day sense incident. What is wonders of street view? Oh, monkey. Hello, monkeys. Wow, it's like I'm really here with the monkey. I've always wanted to meet monkey for real. Are these monkeys or are they apes? I think these are monkeys. And we hit random to just go to a random one. No street view available. <laughs> What's this guy doing? Buddy, get your head out of the trash. Buddy, you know your head is in the trash? Did you know that? Whoa, what was that? What the fuck? What am I... <laughs> what? Why did I find a van with naked people all over it? What the fuck? There's a naked guy. Luckily, no wieners and boobies are showing, but... There's a naked guy with his head in the toilet. There's a naked woman playing the harp. There's a naked guy carrying a, what looks to be a sink. Inappropriate. Oh, and here's a wall with a car on it. Weird. Weird. Quirky. Weird. We can wrap it up soon. Here's the inside of somebody's weird house. Wow. Weird. Cool. Cool and weird. This looks like the top of a mountain somewhere. Somebody made a beautiful sand castle. Oh my gosh, this looks like paradise! Oh, I want to live here! You guys know you're living on a damn paradise? You guys know that? Shit! Got dogs and everything. A dog, a cool, a cool sandcastle. Of course, it is in Colombia. I don't know if that's a great place to live. There's a man with three legs. Alright. Well, I hope that's working out well for him. Optimus Prime in Stillwater, Oklahoma. 
If you go to Oklahoma, you can see a statue of Optimus Prime. Why not? Cave Restaurant in Kowal, Kenya. Oh my gosh. I want to go to Kenya, just so I can see this. I would love to eat here. And Superman and Batman as cows. Well, I think that's going to be enough for today. We got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. We all need to get out of here. Sorry, folks. I got to go. I got stuff to do. And you know what that means. Oh, you know what that means. It means it's time to wind things down. Had a few good laughs, my friends. Made a few memories. <laughs> and although now the fun must end, I hope you see what you mean to me. You're all my neighbors and allies. And though it's time to part, as we traverse through lows and highs, I'll keep you all inside my heart. Sorry that it's time to go, but we can still share one more song. It's because I love you so that it hurts to say so long. Red and yellow, black and white, you're all precious in my sight. But it's time for us to say so long. Okay, another stream in the bag. This one was all right. I liked, uh, <coughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, jeez. Okay, excuse me. Oh my gosh, I got the worst tickle in my throat all of a sudden. I liked, uh, I liked the trolley problems. I liked drawing the, the, the corporate logos from memory. Um, the infinite crafting kind of bored me a little bit. It wasn't the most exciting. I couldn't, I, you know what? Maybe I just don't have the imagination for it. Um, couldn't really think of how to make that fun. But, you know what? It was interesting anyway. I think I got a few good laughs out of it. At the end of the song there that I was singing, the line is, made a few memories, but I almost said made a few enemies, and I had to stop myself. I don't know why I almost said made a few enemies. We don't make enemies on the show, we only make memories. Good ones. This show is good memories only. <laughs> I'd like to take, mo take a moment, excuse me, to encourage you all to consider joining my Patreon, which now is over 10 years of updates. For just $5 a month, you can get access to useful resources for artists and animators such as source files, presets, and tutorials, and the link is in the description below. And if you're not interested in the art stuff, but you'd still like to support what I do, you can become a channel member right here on YouTube and get access to exclusive emotes in the chat. That's going to be it for me, folks. I'll see you on Wednesday. And let me tell you, you know what's coming on Wednesday. I was I was working on a thumbnail for it. Wednesday is confronting catnap. We've been putting this off for long enough. I finally have to meet him. I have to meet that big old boy. That big old cat boy. It's not going to be easy. I've wasted enough time. It's taken me long enough to get to him, but... This is it. We're right at his front door.
So that's Wednesday, and thanks to everyone who joined us for this stream. Thank you so much for inviting me into your home and allowing me to spend the afternoon with you. It's been an honor and a privilege. And remember, I am close personal friends with each and every one of you. But especially Markiplier. So long.